Quack! Hello and welcome to Final Fantasy IV. This is the Pixel Remaster. My name is Ben from Skinny Fat Duck. And I am super stoked to get started with this game. The original Final Fantasy IV, otherwise known as Final Fantasy II for uh, North America on the Super Nintendo, was my very first RPG. One of, one of the first games I ever played and also pretty much my favorite game of all time. I still play it, uh, you know, every few years. I've played a few mods, all that, all that good stuff. So all that said and all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started with this version. Ooh, I like the graphics. You can actually see Cecil's uh, Cecil's face a little bit. Um, now let's go ahead and just kind of clear clear the air a little bit as far as how we're going to pronounce Cecil or Cecil. I think the general consensus consensus is is if you're from if you're from North America or the U.S. at least. Uh, I know a lot of us, including myself, uh, pronounced it as Cecil growing up. And then when the 3DS version or the 3D version came out and they had voice acting and everybody found out that it was Cecil. And I believe that's how uh, people in the UK pronounce that name also. Um, something like that. Anyway, definitely not in the US. But uh, just for clarity and for to, to be canon, I'm going to do Cecil. However, every fiber of my being wants to call him Cecil just because that's what I've always known. So anyway, that was probably more than you wanted to know, but I have it out of the way now, so let's continue on. Captain, we will arrive at Baron shortly. Very well. The captain seems kind of down. After what we did, who wouldn't be? Orders are orders, but killing innocent people to get the crystals isn't right. Isn't right indeed. One shot the mages, of course. He just gets slapped out of the way. All he can do is just watch the crystal be taken. Yeah, it's really weird seeing so much of his face. I don't I don't recall that in the original version. But maybe I don't know. The Red Wings are supposed to protect people, not harm them. That's enough. But Captain. Surely you don't contone what we've done. All of you, listen well. A raid on Mesidia was imperative for Baron's prosperity. Mesidians know too much about the crystals. Their very possession of one is a threat to Baron. His Majesty ordered we obtain their crystal, and as soldiers of the Royal Air Force, we are sworn to obey. Captain. Captain. Monster sighted dead ahead. Prepare for battle. Mm. Just gonna one shot all these guys here. Firebomb maybe? Oh well, Red Fang in this version. I think it was Firebomb in the original. Ugh, are you all right? We've got more hostiles. Damnation. Blue Fang. Can't remember what that was before. I think it was like Lit Bolt or something from the Super Nintendo version. Is everyone okay? All accounted for, sir. We've been encountering more monsters than ever lately. There's no end to them. Could it be some kind of omen? Captain, we are now approaching Baron. 
Very well. Prepare for landing. And so they descend on the kingdom of Baron. Digging the remastered or the remixed music. Well done. So the crystal is now ours. The Mesidians put up no resistance. In fact, they were completely defensive. Defenseless. Is this pity I perceive? Hmm. Come, Captain. His Majesty awaits. Oh, these graphics are so good. You'll excuse me, Captain. I must speak to His Majesty in private. Please wait here. Whisper, whisper, whisper. Your Majesty, I'm afraid Cecil or Cecil can no longer be trusted. He clearly questions your authority, and you see how I've already slipped up already on his freaking name, and we're six minutes into this recording. I apologize. He does. Your counsel is well heeded, Bagan. But so long as I obtain the crystals, Cecil's transgressions matter little. Send them in. Yes, Your Majesty. Captain, His Majesty summons you. The Kingdom of Baron hails your return. May I have the crystal? Yes, Your Majesty. Looks genuine to me, sire. It is beautiful to behold. You are dismissed, Cecil. Your Majesty. Uh, well, what? Yes? Captain, what is it? Your Majesty, forgive me, but what are your intentions regarding the crystals? My men are confused and displeased at their orders. What of you? Do you question my command? No, I only ask. Silence! Do not think your treachery has slipped past me. I trusted you, Cecil. You leave me no choice. I hereby relieve you of, your, of command of the Red Wings. Your Majesty! Now I charge you with another duty. Sl slay the phantom beast that plagues Mist Valley and deliver this bomb ring to the village of Mist. You leave tomorrow at first light. Your Majesty, I beg you to reconsider. Cecil has done no wrong. Ah, Cain, if you are so concerned about your tra traitorous friend, you may accompany him. Majesty, now take the ring and be gone. Your Majesty, I'm not sure what uh, translation this is based off of, but it's not bad. I'm sorry, Cain. Once we've completed the mission, the king is bound to forgive us both. You'll command the Red, Red Wings again in no time. Get some rest. Leave tomorrow's preparations to me. At least we have a buddy to go to. Or to go with. Okay, so see, the side profile actually does seem pretty consistent with the original. I don't know. I'd have to I'd have to compare them side by side, but uh, either way, I'm a big fan of how Cecil looks in his Dark Knight armor. His Majesty is acting very strange lately. Whatever others may say, I trust the King. Heard rather disturbing rumors regarding the King lately. If you value your life, you best put King and Country before anything else. This valley is northwest of Baron. With you and our Commander Kane joining forces, nothing will be able to stop you. What's wrong? I'm sorry to have dragged you into this. Don't be. I acted of my own free will. I mastered the Dark Sword on His Majesty's orders, but it was to protect Baron, not to plunder. You're not to blame. I'm sure the King has his reasons. I envy you, Kane. I envy the path you chose. I so suppose I could have attained a higher rank had I become a Dark Knight. My father was a Dragoon, but he passed away when I was still young felt that I could keep some sort of connection with him if I became a Dragoon as well. Didn't mean to bore you with my stories. Anyway, I don't need your concern. The only thing you should be concerned about is slaying that beast tomorrow. I don't want to be the only one pulling his weight. I'll give as good as you, rest assured. That's more like it. 
We should get some sleep. We rise early tomorrow. Yes, sir. Heard you acquired the crystal from Mesidia. On duty, leave me alone. You're free to take the items from the storage room to help you on your thing. Yeah, press the switch. We got it. Probably not going to talk to the people down here because I'm pretty sure they're just tutorial. Oh, maybe not. Rosa became a white mage for you, Cecil, to help you in any way she could. Please don't worry her too much. King is brimming with vigor these days. I find it somewhat out of character. Currently studying basic white magic. The four levels of cure spells are, yeah, we know. Ooh, look at that fire. Let's see what's over here. I know it's black mages. Sleep. Sweet dreams, pal. Oh. I kind of screwed that up, but that's okay. Yeah, basic uh, basic spells. We're diligently working to de develop more spells for actual combat. Okay. I don't think there's anything we can do over here. Besides maybe talk to some folks. Baron, sacred treasures rest behind this wall, but a access to that chamber is forbidden. Even to the Dark Knight, apparently. We have to pull another all-nighter today. I'm so tired. Oh, don't tell the boss I was grousing. Have you seen Sid? He ordered us to service the airships, then just up and disappeared. I think something's troubling him. This tower is off limits. All right, at least we got a little bit of dialogue. We'll just go ahead and make our way over here. Cecil! Ooh, look at Rosa. Thank goodness you're all right. I was so worried. Left on su such short notice. We're fine. I wish I could say the same for the Mesidians we slaughtered. Cecil, I'll come see you later, okay? Very well. Yeah, her sprite looks good. All right, nothing in there. Well, 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 look who's back. Rosa was worried sick about you. And the bearded wonder himself. Don't you ever do that to her again, you hear? So, how are my airships? I'll bet you and your goons wrecked them up something awful. Hey, what's the matter with you, kiddo? Well, what? The king demoted you. What about the Red Wings? They'll be a mess without you. Come to think of it, the king's been acting peculiar for some time. His majesty ordered me to build an airship for killing people. Everyone's worried about him. Anywho, be careful out there. Make short work of that mission and get back safe. Whoa, I have to start heading home. My daughter will kill me if I'm not back soon. Peace out. Ow, my arm's broken. Dude is thinking about the captain in his, or I guess the captain would be me. Think about me in his dreams. We'll just eat and laugh and try to forget about Mesidia. So much for the Red Wings honor. Still can't believe what we did. Well, at least the crew is uh, morally sound. That's good. We'll go ahead and make uh, our way up here. Ah, crap. Change your sheets, sir. I hear you depart early tomorrow morning. Good night. Rest? Yes. Like how he just gets into the bed in his armor. What's happened to the king? He covets the crystals as though he's possessed. And it seems he'll resort to any means to get them. Nevertheless, I can't defy him. How could I cross the man who raised Cain and me like his very own? The chivalrous knight whom I have adored and admired since childhood. I will not betray him. I can't. Cecil. What's going on? You just returned from Mesidia, and now you must journey afar to battle some phantom beast? It's all too sudden. Everything's fine. Cecil, look at me. In Mesidia, we killed innocent people to steal their crystal. It was horrible. 
But I suppose this is my fate as a Dark Knight. Soon, I won't even feel remorse for my actions. You and I both know that will never happen. Still, I can't defy the king. I'm a hopeless coward. The Cecil I know would never whimper like this. The Cecil I love. You leave for mist early tomorrow, right? Yes, but don't worry. Kane's coming too. I'll be fine. Trust me. Please come back to me in one piece. Does, doesn't even kiss him. Like... Going on a dangerous journey and not even getting a kiss. Though as a dark knight, you know we can never truly be together. I love how Cecil is so morally conflicted, even from the v very beginning. So, are you ready for some real combat? Always. Lead the way. And I will do my very best. I mean, I'm assuming that most people that would be watching this have played this game already, but I will do my absolute best to not spoil anything. So just keep that in mind. And so the Dark Knight, Cecil, was stripped of his command as captain of the Red Wings. He and the Master Dragoon, Kane, head for the Foggy Valley and the Village of Mist. And this, this scene just is beautiful. The advent of the airship marked the realization of Baron's dreams, but also the birth of its militarism. With its Royal Air Force, the Red Wings, Baron soon reigns supreme. I kind of read that weird. Now, as monsters multiply and stir unrest, Baron only exploits its power to collect the world's crystals. Why? Crystals merely shed their light and silence. And I think one of the things I love about this game so much is it's really the first Final Fantasy that puts the story, doesn't put the story on the back burner, puts it front and center, and obviously moving from Nintendo NES hardware to SNES hardware, it's a lot easier to, to you know, craft a, a narrative in game and stuff like that, and the technology was better, but uh, yeah, I just think that's... Um, and like even playing as like a like a little kid, like it was just so cool seeing seeing the story and stuff. Even though I didn't, oh, already in ambush. Even though I couldn't understand everything. Now, obviously, you have the ATB battle system. Oh, and he's got darkness too. So this is obviously based on, at least to some extent, the original version, because the Super Nintendo version did not have darkness on there, so that's really cool to see. Now let's just see here, go ahead and save. And obviously this game is the first Final Fantasy to introduce the active time battle system. Which it doesn't have a slider this time. And we are going to do it at maximum here. For at least as long as we can because um, one of the most well-known things is like Final Fantasy II, the original version. Very easy, very, very newcomer friendly, especially coming off the heels of like Final Fantasy 3, which could be, which could definitely be brutal. And that's not to say that we aren't going to run into some hardship in this game. However, especially with uh, setting it to active and setting it to very fast, it's going to be a lot, it's going to be a lot more difficult than if we didn't do that. So, and it's cool that you got the auto battle system. 
in here with the pixel remaster. So that's that's awesome. And I am really looking forward to playing more of this. But for now, I think that's going to do it. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I will be back with more very soon. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.